Hi everyone, here I want to do the um, Excel file and um, so this is continuation of topic 14. Um, so um, I know you know uh, many of you know much better than me in this case uh, but but this can be a reference uh, lesson for you um, how to use Excel to find line of best fit and how to use Excel to to find equation for that line of best fit. Um, so you can find the lesson in OneNote, you can find the lesson in um, uh, Blackboard where I posted all the lessons and uh, I don't say it's the best but um, it can be a reference for you. Here I am using um, all this information uh, from the lesson here. Okay, so this is the lesson here. So from the previous video, the second example which you have concentration, person transmittance, and observance. So I'm using all these data uh, here, okay? So the, the first column concentration is, um, is uh, just uh, uh, made. And the second column is um, uh, measured by an equipment, okay? So the third one is just calculated by the formula, which I explained in the previous video. Uh, so I, um, for example, uh, now I want to make a graph so, um, of it. So I can select this and then I keep control, I hold control key and I select this one. And then I can go to insert, I can go to charts, I can go to charts and I can click on a scatter, insert the scatter. Okay, and see, I can see the graph. So the same as what I do in topic four, I can see all the data here. Then I would say I do not want to see, I do not want to see, um, so my, my, my chart here, I don't want to do that, so I want to go to another file, uh, sorry, I want to sh see it in another sheet, so I can click on it, let's right click on it, and then I can move the chart here, I can do this, for example, I can give it a name based on the, based on the question based on the project that you have, okay? So then I just insert it here. Okay, so for example, I can play with it, I can put it here. See, in sheet number one, I have all my information and in number two, which is chart number one, I can see the chart here, okay? Then I can give it a title. So the title goes here, okay? So the title must be here, for example, here I just write title, title of the, so just one second. Uh, okay, so title is here. Oops. Title. Okay, so title goes here. So I just make sure that my title is not that big. Uh, so it doesn't take too much space. For example, I can click on it. Okay, I can click on it. I can right click on it. Okay, so one second. Um, so I can select it, yes, I can go here and for example do aerial or I can say change the size, I can change the color here, I keep the color to black for example, okay? So this is the title, so which I said, I told you title is important, so in topic four, in the quiz also you had the question, so topic is, so title is important. Then you can, you can go to, so you can see in Microsoft uh, Word, Microsoft Excel, when you insert something, it gives you a tools for that, okay? So you have a tool here, you have design and format. So when you click on this, you can click on design and format, and these are related to your chart, okay? These are tools for here. So I click on design, I add chart element, and I go here, and I add horizontal, and then I click here, and I add vertical. Okay, see here I see axis title. I see title for X axis and I see title for Y axis. Yes, I can add the title. I can add unit. Don't forget. So these are very important for topic four, which I explained in graphing techniques. And also you can use it here, but very much faster. Okay, so yes, you can work here. Okay, so one second. Um, yes. Yes, okay. So then you have, okay, so yeah, then you have this, okay, so then you can, um, yes, then you can click on the, here, you can click on the, 
Uh, so the axis here so okay yes you can click on them and then you can see for example uh, so I see okay so I can click here yes I can see format access beside so just in the right okay so when I click on my data for x axis or y axis I can see that for example I can click on the third one I can do access chart and I can see for example what is maximum what is minimum I can change them what is maximum what is minimum these are all um, based on my data but I can change it okay so I can change them then yes i can do those changes and then i can go to numbers i can go to numbers i can instead of general i can do scientific i can say my numbers are scientific i can say for example i want just one significant uh, sorry one sorry one decimal place okay so these these give just uh, my options in order to emphasize my so these are numbers okay i can do that then yes then I can, okay, so one second, then I can see, yes, okay, so then uh, the, the most important part is when I want to add the trend line, so I can click on this plus, for example, I can go to trend line and I can add a, add a line, so this is line of best fit, oh, perfect, so I can see the line, so I can add the line very much, much easier, okay, and then, I can so just I can click on the line okay so just I move that so then I go here yes and I can just set the intercept for example from zero I can say okay write the equation for me it shows me equation so if I go to see if I go to um, so if I go to my one node so which, which I explained see I have the equation here and now the equation is just here using Excel. So Excel made the line of best fit for me and also gives the equation for the line. Okay, so also I can say, okay, show me the R squared, which is a correlation. You will see this in uh, future. Okay, so, uh, yeah, one second. So, yeah. Okay, so then you can click on here. You can change the color, for example. Uh, for example, maybe maybe you can, um, for example, add legend. For example, okay, so you can, can click on this. For example, add legend here. Okay, so you can add that. Add that here. Uh, so so you can click on it. For example, go to um, here. So let me, okay, so for example, show the legend without overlapping the chart. For example, you can just make it more, uh, just gives more space. See, if I click on this, no, it goes on the chart. If I click on this, no, it goes beside. See, you can just um, work with them. Okay, and then you can do more edit. And uh, so you can do more edit. You can do everything, uh, everything here. Uh, but everything here you can for example select a select a graph or the chart insert it insert it in word if you want to add this to your uh, for example lab report you can do that um, so you you have the file as reference and also you can uh, maybe so explore and add more information uh, to the file for yourself okay the most important part is uh, this when I was doing the first video, I was talking about all of these data, okay? And I was saying that you have the first column, um, which, is, which are made, the second column are measured, and the third column are calculated using the formula. Then I said you have uh, these two values here, so these two blue values here which you you have y values but you don't know the x okay so you made these lines uh, so you made highlighted lines here so these 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 here so here and this one and then you made another perpendicular line here another perpendicular line here and then you find x values okay so now now so we did everything by hand so with ruler and calculation and everything and yes it wasn't really exact even with excel is not exact but you can find it much faster so when i do by excel then i have 
then I have the line of test fit, and then I have the uh, I have the equation. The equation is here. The equation is y equal 44406 x means absorbance equal this value multiple concentration. So if I have two y values and I want to find x, so I can just use the equation and I can find x. So which I don't need to do all of those those things that I can find y values and then I make perpendicular lines, I reach to the graph and then I make perpendicular lines, I reach to x-axis and I say what are, what, what are my values. I can use the equation to say what are my values, which I explained all of them here. All of them are, ex are not exact, all of them are approximate, but with Excel is um, much faster and much neater and easier. Uh, so I hope everything is um, clear for you. Make sure to do practice on these. Um, I really appreciate your time and um, so your time and uh, just um, attention to the lesson. Thank you. Bye.